Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, and welcome to Damien's Reviews. Tonight we're doing a high gravity malt liquor review in a very obscure configuration, Ice House Edge in a 42 ounce plastic bottle. So I'm having to re-record it because the camera messed up, but I went ahead and I poured it. But as you can tell, it still has a uh, fairly thick white head. It's clear, bubbly, golden, and there's not been a formal review of this particular beer. There was like a chug discussion type thing from Joe Skull, but this is the first formal review for this particular configuration of Ice House Edge in the world. So it came out in 2011-2012 to compete in like the um, high gravity malt liquor craze that was going on at the time. And it's still going on today to a certain extent, particularly with the craft beer movement. So it's 90 calories per 5 ounces. And it's 8% ABV, so it has water, barley malt, corn syrup. They use maltose and dextrose, yeast and hop extract. So let's go with the aroma. It smells like a really strong ice house. It's very sweet, malty, grainy. Definitely bready. Like white bread, white bread crust. It's got some hop action going on in the aroma, but not really a whole lot. It doesn't smell like a high gravity malt liquor. It smells like an ice malt liquor, like a really strong ice beer. So, yeah, poured it up. Let's go ahead and top that bad boy off, which I already did. And it still produces that super thick white head. So let's dive into the taste. Cheers. Mmm. Yep. It tastes just like a really strong ice house. So up front, you get a lot of sweetness. Then in the middle, you get a lot of graininess, as well as some breadiness, like white bread, white bread crust. And then in the end, it's got a pretty good hot bitterness, all things considered. And to finish it all up, it is very crisp, clean, refreshing, super dry, and the drinkability for something that's 8% is it's pretty high. So the body and mouthfeel, I would say, hmm, medium to heavy. So, how would I rate this? Well, I really like the regular Ice House, the 5.5%. Well, this being Ice House Edge at 8%, they've done a really good job with it. So, overall, there's no undertaste of alcohol. It's not boozy. It's not chewy. It's a pretty well-balanced beer, all things considered. So, I would give it like a, um, I'd give it like a 95 out of 100 for the high gravity malt liquor style, but in all honesty, it tastes like an ice malt liquor, all things considered. That's really, in all honesty, how it tastes. And if you're wondering where I found this, I found this particular bottle in Fairlawn, Virginia at a gas station called Sheets. And I got two of them. I got one to do a formal review of, and then I'm going to do a head-to-head -head with this 42-ounce bottle, and I'm going to probably do a tall can, see which is better, the can or the bottle. Well, I got to say, out of the bottle, they really need to bump up distribution on this one if they really don't distribute it all that much. It might be common in your area, in this area. It's not in Tennessee. I just found it at that gas station in Virginia. There was one other place I was able to find it when I did a written review. It was at the Liberty Gas Station off Exit 98 off of I-81 in Virginia. It's the Dublin, Virginia, Parisburg exit. So, yeah, 95 out of 100, that's what I'm going to stick with. So if you see it, buy it, try it, see what you think. As always, you all have an excellent one, and cheers.